everyone welcome back to my channel so today is everybody's favorite time of the month and it is what i've completed in the month of august 2022 so what i'm going to show you in this video is my empties my whips and the body colors and what i want to do next month and then complete the pages and then the wrap up so what i'm going to start off with is my empties i haven't got that many this month I've got a Byram, a black Byram, a Uniball, a Glitter Silver Gel Pen, a Purple Gel Pen and 56 Mint Green in the OD Marker Set. So the first picture I'm going to show is a body colour with Steph. And it's from Disney Pixar Find a Nemo Coloring Book. If you have any books I show in this video that you would like to do a body colour with, just let me know in the comments or let me know on Instagram and I will do that for you. And this is the body colour we're doing with Pale and Nemo. The next is a body colour with Steph from Marvel Avengers colouring book and it's the one with Doctor Strange the next body colour is with Steph again this is from Disney the Jungle Book colouring book and it's this page that we're doing together The next one is Disney colouring book and this is also a body colour stuff and this is with Bambi, Thumper and Flower. And then another body colour with stuff is Disney Princess Beauty and the Beast colouring book and we are doing Beast and Belle together. The next body colour with stuff we're doing is Disney Frozen colouring book and it is the picture of Olaf and the Trolls. The next body colour with stuff is Disney Frozen 2 colouring book and we're doing Kristoff and Sven. The next page I'll show you is what I want to do next month and it's from Nice Little Town 12 and I'm going to do this page here. I don't know if I want to do watercolour or if I want to just do markers on it. I'm not too sure. I'm really debated in what I want to do with it. I'm going to show is Best of Glam Classics and these are all whips and what I want to do. This one is a whip that I'm doing. This one I want to do. This one I want to do. This one I'm working on. This one the outline stone and the outline is done on this one. That is from Best of Glam Classics. Hopefully I should get all them done in like one month. That would be actually quite amazing, wouldn't it? The next two body colours are from Joanna Bassford's World of Wonder. And the first one is a body colour with Nicola. And this one is a forever body colour with Sandra. But I know exactly what I want to do with this one next month. So it'll just be absolutely amazing. The reason why I've not got to these body colours is because I've got so many books piled on top of each other. So I don't get a chance to get to them. 
The next one is a Disney Princess Cinderella colouring book and this is a bloody coloured stuff. This one would be really fun to do. I know exactly how to colour this page. The next book is one I'm going to do and this is from All Time Hits 100 Colour by Number, Sergeant Such Deva. And this one is a whip, but you kind of can see what it's going to be. This one I want to do. I want to do this one. I want to do this one. This one will be good for next month. And this one will be good for next month. And also I want to do this one. And this one. And this one. The next whip I have is the Forever Whip from World of Flowers by Joanna Bassford. I'll definitely get this done by the end of the year, guys, honestly. This is like forever, isn't it? And I've got only a few little bits left to do here, and I'll be done. So it's getting there, slowly, but it's getting there. <laughs> I'll definitely get that one done next month. If you hear any noises, it's just my mum and the dog, so sorry about that if that really annoys you, but it's life, isn't it? So the next one I want to do is from A Million Magical Creatures by Lula Mayo. And I want to do this one at first, but at now I want to do both of them because I've got a little love for watercolours at the minute so I might do this one in watercolours. I'm not too sure if this paper will take it though. I think it will because it's quite quite thick paper so I'll have a little, a little um, fun little experiment in that. And the next one I want to do is from Joyful Colour. And it's this one. I just want to do loads of glitter gel pens to be honest, guys. It'd be so much fun just gel pen with them now, wouldn't it? The next whip I have going is from the Alice in Wonderland Corn book by Busted Activity. And I've got this page here. The next whip is from the Peter Pan colouring book, also by Buster Activity. And I know exactly what to do on this page now. I've been stuck for months on what to do with this page, but I know exactly what to do. Because like I said, I love my watercolours. And this paper is like, it's thick. So I could possibly do it on here, but it's very smooth. Like very, very smooth. The next whip I have is from Playtime Colour and Colour and Fun, and it's this one here. And the last whip I have, well, it's kind of like a last whip. Last few whips I have is from Superheroes and Villains Super Colouring Book, and I've got this whip here. I have this whip. And I also have this whip. Oh, flash. I don't know what colours to do. I don't, I don't know if I to do them like how they go on here. Or do them in normal reds and like gold, like flashes, I think. Oh, I call them. So that would be quite fun. I don't know which one to do that one. And then the last book in that pile is. Imagine Morphia by Kay Roseanne, and this is a body colour with Anne, and I'm just doing this all in pencil to be honest, and it's going to be so much fun. I've got, I've got one more whip to show you guys, and it's from Worlds Within Worlds, this book, I've loved this book this month, all this week, I've been doing it for the week, and I've been working on the beauty page which I don't know if I should do the laces in like the mint green I've got going and this is all in watercolour by the way guys 
um, the Derwin Academy ones. So I've got this going on on this page and then I'm just doing this page because I'm really debating if I should keep the laces white or do them in the green, I'm not too sure. And yeah, while I've got this book out, I'm going to show you the ones I have completed in this book. I finally completed this page here of the snow globe and this was a body colour with Monique and I use blue flannel pencils and some gel pen. As you guys can see it's really shiny because I use a glitter gel pen and metallic gel pen and I did this one on the 31st. And this one I am the most proud of this month. This is a body colour with Denise and Sandra. And I used my Derwin uh, Academy watercolour pencils with some metallic gel pen and a glitter, a, a glitter, a gold gel pen and a silver gel pen. As you guys can see, it's really, it's really crumpled the paper. But that doesn't bother me at all. I really enjoyed doing it. I'm just happy it didn't like rip up the paper in any way. So if I've done any like things wrong that you think that I'd like to improve on, just let me know because I'd like to like get a bit better at watercolouring to be honest guys. And this was a prompt for Jamie's prompt and it's to uh, use water medium like watercolour or paint and all that fun stuff and I had this set there and I was saying to Jamie I was like I'm really scared in case I absolutely mess it up and she was like you'll enjoy it you'll enjoy it and I was like oh I won't really enjoy it I know I won't enjoy it and she was like oh you will and to be honest guys she wasn't wrong I absolutely love it it's one of my favourite things I'd like to do so thank you Jamie for making me step up my comfort zone a little bit. I have to show Jamie when I've done this page yeah I was so proud of it. I was like look what I did and she was like it looks absolutely amazing and I love it for it. Absolutely love it for it. And that one was also for Jamie's prompt of something in the glass or something. I'll let I'll do a refresh in a minute for you guys. And yeah I use metallic gel pens and watercolours on this page. So that was from World to Done World by Kirby Rosa. The next book that I did finish a page from is Colour by Numbers, Pets and Farm Animals and this is by Articles, Articles, Articles. and this was a scavenger hunt colour and chat and it was to find eggs and we did this one in the blue fern pencils and we did this one on the 30th of August. I did the whale one as well on the 30th of August, I didn't say that. So the next one is a whip that I finished and it's from the smaller joyful colour and it was the fish. I finally finished them and he was finished on the 26th of August and this was a first page from this book so this one was towards Kate's Colour in Heaven's Whipping the Whips 2022. The next few are from my pretty colouring book to be honest guys, this book I've nearly completed and I wasn't even putting it on the top 10 so I don't know how I did that but you know. I did this one and I did it in Elite Markers and the Gel Pens. These are just nice easy relaxing pages to do and I did this one on the 26th. And this one I did also on the 26th and again it was in Elite Markers and gel pens and I did this one on the 12th 
did this one just before on holiday. And I just realised I have to look that there we go. Oh well. It doesn't matter, it's done for me. I did this one in early markers and gel pens. one from I Heart Koalas and I did this little cute one which needs just something quick and easy to be honest guys I'll show you really closer I use metallic gel pen and olive markers and I did this one on the 25th paper's lovely in this book it's so tiny love it the next one that we did was Enchanted Forest and this one was a scavenger hunt prompt of a picture of a map and we did this one and I did this one on the 25th. I haven't done a background because I don't think it needs it. So. That was from Enchanted Forest by Joanna Glassford. The next page I did was from Cute Animals by Jade Summer. And I did this frog. If you guys know, I absolutely love frogs. And I did this with Elite Markers and Gel Pants. And it's just absolutely adorable. And I did this one on the 23rd of August. Love him. He's so chubby. The next one is a bloody colour with D. And she said to use neon colours on this mandala. And that's exactly what I did. I think you can see that one in the dark. It's so bright. It's so bright. I only used two colours. It was pink and a green. And I think it looked absolutely amazing. And I did this one on the 23rd of August. And that was the little book of colouring for calm. 100 man dollars for relaxation in minutes. And that is the artist. The next one is my favourite mandala book of literally all time. And it is 100 Beasts of Floor and Mandalas by Camelia Andrikova. And I did this one. This was three random colours and I just finished this one on the 23rd. And to be honest guys, I do like it. It's very, not my colour scheme to be honest. It's very muted, but it looks nice. The next one is from Colour by Numbers 70 Plus Cartoon Characters by Jennifer Rowland and I did Daisy. I was going to do more than one in here but I just got like distracted with other things and I wanted to do like whips and all that so I only done one. is from 100 Dinosaurs, Colour by Number by Sun Life Drawing and I did this one. I used Elite Markers and I did this one on the 7th. I'm not pronouncing the dinosaurs because I can't pronounce the dinosaurs but this is such a fun book if you just want to colour something. I love this one. And this one was done on the 8th. And this one was also done on the 8th. And the next one I want to do is this one. And this is one of my top 10 books to complete this year. So I've got quite a big chunk of it to be honest. masks by jade summer this page had a lot of yellow in it from the previous page oh 
on this part here yeah, like, where you can see as well like the fish is like yellowing because it's yellowed on here as well so i need to cover him up well i just wanted to cover her in and uh, i did this one you can still see a bit of yellow in here but it doesn't bother me that much um i did this one on the eighth a nice fun little mindless one to do and the last colour in one is from Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. And I did this little cute girl right here. I think I did this one in the colour and chat on the shelf. And she literally is just elite markers and gel pens border. And I absolutely love her. She was done on the 6th. So that was all my completed pages. I told you guys it wasn't that much this month. So now the little wrap up that we got doing is Brown Finder. There we go. For August, I only did two prompts. And that was under the water page, which was colour page only using water colours or like wet mediums, which I did that. And the glass one colour picture with a glass object in it, which was the globe. Uh, I only did one Disney picture, I only did two whips. I weighed in one book untouched. I did two double page spreads, I did two pencil pages, two mandalas. I should say one person, but yeah, I forgot to like write that on down, like two people. I uh, did ten animals, I did three body colours this month. I worked in 13 books and I did 18 pages. Not, not bad that actually, to be honest. Probably like one of my quieter months, to be honest. So for September, for Jamie's September prompts, S is for street scene, so anything that has like a street scene, like a cityscape, so like probably like a landscape type, like buildings and stuff in the landscape, so like stuff like that. And then Enchanted is A. So something enchanted like fairies, gnomes, women's holy type stuff like that. And then P is like party, so like anything like party. So it's like either got a party in the picture or like balloons, presents, gift giving, cakes, you know, like anything like food wise as well. Like you can do food, I think. And then the bonus pages is zoo animals. So a picture of like an animal you can find at a zoo, so any exotic stuff. Or like jungle animals i think jamie said as well like stuff like that i'm doing a hashtag for the entirety of september which is simply september color along and that's like any simple pages like large print color by numbers like anything that you find easy and relaxing and like just simple pages and just relaxing pages because everyone this month and a few months previous has been really like not bothering to colour and really in a slump and I feel like if this hashtag can get people into like colouring a little bit more this month you know like get yourself out of the slump and just colour something just make it fun any, any way you want to colour it just make it fun so for my goals for September is obviously I always have to have Jamie's prompt list because that is like my main thing to do every every single month. I absolutely love it. I really do. Two Disney pages, of course. Five whips. Wig from five untouched books. Double page spread. A pencil page and three mandalas. Five people pages. Five animal pages. Complete only body colours and five simple pages for any of my hashtags, any like any of my hashtags type thing and that's all what i've got this month 
so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button subscribe turn the notification bell on don't forget to follow my instagram follow my facebook group page and give my tiktok a little bit of love love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys